Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I like to welcome guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the Heroes Reborn era of the Avengers. This was a series. It was 13 issues long. I think I covered most of it, but I was missing the first issue. I remember when I purchased this comic book way back in 1996. I was 15 years old. Back then, I thought that uh, Rob Liefeld was the best artist ever. I don't know why, why he had such an appeal. Like, he's still a very good artist, like... As I talked about in my other video about Deadpool, he does, he has a very distinct style. He, and I, I like it, but he has so many issues, be it anatomy or perspective or backgrounds. But in this one, in this first issue, he actually puts a lot of, of effort in, in this one. Well, oh, the Heroes Reborn era of Marvel was like, they were trying to revamp the Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Avengers, Captain America. Um, they brought on, they brought back a lot of the talent that they lost in the early 90s that went to Image, they brought them back during this phase, and um, they tried to make all these characters um, extreme, more 90s, and um, most, for the most part, the experiment, the Heroes Reborn experiment, sort of fell flat on his face. Uh, there were some good story arcs within those four series. This Avengers one started out promisingly and it just went at least i didn't like the direction it went in so this obviously again art by rob liefeld a uh, story by jim valentino and the colors i gotta say the colors did a fantastic job ashby manson really good we start off with a super buff loki and <laughs> this loki is really built He's seeing the earth. He he's always thinking his plans of how he's gonna take things over or take over Asgard or whatever the hell Loki wants to do. For some reason, in a couple of panels, Loki not only is super buff, he looks like this weird, weird, angry old guy. So we have um, Thor, who's been frozen in a block of ice. Cut to the Avengers at their. Um, the type of base that looking at this base is sort of has a feeling or feels like a precursor to the ultimate space. Can't remember the name. They had a particular name, but they, looking at it now, it, it's sort of like a precursor to that. So we get the introduction of each one of the members of the Avengers. We start off with Swordsman, character that when I saw him, he, I thought he looked really cool. I thought they're gonna do tons of awesome stuff with this character. The dude's got swords he has four five six swords on him he's going to be hacking and slashing and he does virtually nothing in the 13 issues of this series obviously scarlet witch is on the team captain america got hellcat that for some reason looks exactly like wolf's bane or Furo. like um rob Liefeld had a thing for this type of look and that type of haircut and a furry cat lady or dog lady Visions on the team too. Captain America, America is like dealing with what happened in Captain America number one. That I think it's like he his whole life was a lie or something like that. I don't remember too well. Rob Liefeld had the throwing cable in there. Cable does pop up in the Captain America series. For some reason Hawkeye looks like Wolverine, but I really like the look. For the time, like all these characters have these really hip and modern looks, like super atoned for the context of the 90s. And for some reason, Scarlet Woods looks at her, her costume looks like really 1950s. That's at least the impression that I have. And you can see Liefeld putting in an effort. There are backgrounds here, here no, and here no, but there are some <laughs> backgrounds every once in a while. Here we get the big panoramic shot. This is actually really awesome. Like here, I feel like um, Liefeld killed it. There's no, there's not too many issues with perspective. So alarm they found thor this dude frozen in in a block of ice they find the hammer the avengers try everything they can to break him out and what happens is when thor wakes up okay loki listen to me loki pops up tells thor these guys that freed you they're actually bad guys they're up to no good so we get a brief battle thor against the avengers here for, if you look at this position of Captain America, it does look a little weird. The perspective is a little bit off, but who cares? Get a ton of action. 
again, the colors are really bursting off the page. Like, pretty awesome. This is this is old school paper. Like, this is like the old school newspaper. It's not the new glossy type of paper. Like, look at all the colors jumping out of the page. This actually, looking back at this, this is a freaking old comic book. It looks brand new. He realizes he's being duped. He makes friends with the people he's attacking. They immediately decide to <laughs> let him on the team. And this is how the issue ends. It's the first issue of the Avengers. And if, like, if you haven't read Heroes Reborn, like, go out, give it a try, read it. Like, a lot happens in the Avengers. It's just like, uh, every issue is like, down, 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 down. They try to jam as much as they can. It's really choppy, but it's a fun ride just for one read. And, uh, like, the Fantastic Four is one of the better ones, at least for me. Captain America series had, like, a couple of good story arcs, too. So, I'm going to leave it here. See you guys next time. Bye.